Hey, good morning, all. Uh, welcome back to Stacey's channel. Um, <laughs> I've got the privilege today to to teach a bit. Um, but yeah, so I want to. I just want to start off by praying, and um, yeah, so we can just close our eyes. Yeah, Father God, thank you for this amazing privilege and opportunity to just be a vessel of you, Father God. And I pray that your will be done, Father God. That your spirit come upon this word, Father. Yeah. Reveal yourself through this, Lord, and yeah, you know, make our hearts soft to you, Father God. Yes, Let us be aware of your presence, Father God, and. Yeah, that really accept really who you are, Father God, and not not follow a God that we made up, but follow a God who made us, Father. Mm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Yeah, so today's topic is stepping into the awareness of the presence of Christ. Wow. Um, and I just told Stacy throughout the holiday, I really, the Lord's really been pressing this on my heart. And mm. um, I started writing the sermon on the 4th of January around that time, and she I took me like a week ago to to come teach a bit here. So, yeah, the Lord, Lord really wants us to, it's really calling us to a deeper place, I believe, and yeah. being aware of his presence, actually. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, so still on the holiday, uh, the Spirit has really been leading me in different ways of, of like, seeing him and feeling him and, yeah. like, how do, you, how do you call it, like, pressing into him differently mm -hmm. um, because he's really calling us into a into an area of living in a seamless connection with him. Yeah. Um, by means that we are in constant awareness in, in constantly mm. walking in what he has for us. Come on. Um, and so he took me on he took me on a road of experience experiencing the spirit in different ways. Literally like I'm a Bible freak. So the <laughs> Lord really Come speaks on. to me through the Bible. Mm. When I go pray about stuff, um, I get led to scriptures, I get led to books in the in the Bible and he talks to me. But something weird has happened over the same in the beginning of January. I've been really hearing God's audible voice and mm. through people has been um, talking to me. So I, I do believe God's really calling us to a different area of, it, of yeah. experiencing the Holy Spirit. Come and on. that is so exciting because really? God is not limited to just the Bible. He's limited to nothing. He can speak mm. to, to objects to us. He can speak. Exactly. He spoke to a donkey to the people. Come so on. He, he can... He can do anything. He speaks to us no matter what. Mm. Um, and the awesome thing is, yeah, so we are created, like I said, to to really live in a seamless connection with him. Yeah. Um, and the, the scripture I want to start off is of Hebrews 12, 1 to 2. Mm -hmm. It says, therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by the great cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside mm. every weight mm. and the sin which so easily ensnares us and let mm. us run with the endurance the race that is set before us, looking mm. on to Jesus, Come on. the author and finisher of our faith, yeah, for the joy that was set before him into mm. the cross, despising the shame, and he has set he has sat down the right hand of God. Mm. I really want to lie like emphasis on the on the part of lay aside yeah. every weight yeah. and sin, mm. which, which easily ensnares us. It says easily, so it mm. means like it's easy for us to fall into sin, like it's Definitely. easy because we are mm. flesh. Yeah. But it says, and let us run with endurance the race that is set mm. before us. Mm. All of us are called to a race. We are we are Not. called. We are we have a destiny at the end of the day. Yeah. So how we do it? Looking onto Jesus. Man. And that is just becoming aware of the spirit, becoming stepping into that awareness of the presence of Christ. Yes. Um and the second the second um scripture I want to teach actually about is um Proverbs three verse five to six. Mm. It says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. No. Um, so I wrote down two points I wanna I wanna talk about. And the first one is, it, it sounds very intense, but um, acknowledgement brings a situational circumstance into awareness. Mm. Okay, so it it, it, it it it's very <laughs> difficult, but let me let me mm. let me explain like what I said. Yeah. Um. So if you think about something, if you if for movement, any movement to be created, for me to to yeah. pick up a cup of coffee or to pick up my phone, mm. I need to acknowledge that that movement needs to take place first. Mm. I need to say, okay, my brain needs to say, I need to pick up my phone, then I, then I do it. Yeah. Like I need to acknowledge it first and then I become aware of me picking yeah. up the phone. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that really connects with verse six, where it says we need to realize in all our ways, anything mm. we do, acknowledgement needs to take place yeah. before proceeding. Come on. It says, in all our ways, acknowledge him, and he shall then direct our path. Mm. So, um, 
a little, a little cool trick I wrote this down here, a little new trick of, of teaching. Mm. Um, all the pastors go to like the, the Hebrew and the Greek. So I got the translation of acknowledgement. Yeah. Um, it says identify, confess, or recognize the importance mm. or quality of. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that is so amazing. Like I thought acknowledgement is just a like word, but it, it has so much like a, a deeper meaning of like realizing and recognizing the, the importance yeah. of something or the quality of something. Mm. Um, so I do believe that failure is needed. Um, some other people might, might differ, but I believe failure is needed to really see the importance of God in our life. That's why mm. we have before life Christ. We all, we were all born as a sinner. And yeah. when, a day when we give our life to Christ, we are born again. Yeah. And so we all, we all need an area in our life where we mm. like realize I've rebelled against God. I haven't acknowledged him in this time, mm. but now I'm stepping into a place of acknowledging the importance of who he is, of yes. what he has done yes. and seeing that out of a different perspective. Mm. Um, so the, the, so I, hopefully that like, gives a better explanation because like it's, it says that acknowledgement gives way to awareness. I wrote down. It's mm. like acknowledgement. You have to acknowledge something before you can become can yes. become aware of something. Mm. Um, and the knowledge we obtain of God brings mm. us into a better awareness of God. Mm. The more we read of the Word of God, yes. like the more we the knowledge we get, the mm. more we like see the importance of of Him in the Bible. Mm. The things He did to the people in the Old Testament and the New Testament, He's still doing to this day for us. Yes, definitely. Like, he's still doing the same thing. Mm. So mm. the knowledge we obtain from the Old Testament and the New Testament we can become better aware of that and it's going yeah. to like implement into our lives also. Yes, yes, um, yes. I heard by someone the other day, um, one of our friends, he said that the prophets were literally prophesying over this generation, over mm. the people not seeing Jesus, but living out of, a, out of, out of faith and not by sight. Wow. They, were, they, were, they were actually jealous about yeah. us. Yeah. They were, they were like they were they were excited to see how we're gonna live because mm. how 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 do you live without seeing Jesus? Yes. You live by faith, not by sight. Exactly. And, and we need to we need to be aware mm. of, of the spirit before we can we before we live with faith. Yes, yes. Um yeah. so I usually write down like a massive list on my phone of all my thoughts. So mm -hmm. I started last year. Mm. I think January. So every day, or yeah, not even every day, but like a couple of days in a, in a week, I usually write down all my thoughts. Um, if the spirit talks to me and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and I stumbled upon upon this um, this one, the twenty third of September, twenty twenty two. Um, it's also a very like intense thing, but um, mm. I do believe this is really what we are called to almost um to be aware of the spirit it says with the holy spirit so large in our lives mm. he should not be that hard to discern mm. and if he is too hard to discern we must have our hearts and mind inferior no minds anchored in things of very inferior mm. inferior means lower ranked yeah that have numbed what he has created in us a capacity to recognize him mm. so yeah. that basically means when so for us as as believers, the Holy Spirit is, is is constant in us. We are we are in constant connection with the Spirit. Exactly. And if He is this large in our lives, He mm -hmm. should not be this old, does that hard yeah. to discern. We should know exactly. between good and bad. We should we are we are called to it. Mm. And if and if He is too hard to discern, if we struggle to to see good and bad, like not as as actually the same thing, mm. then we have, we must have our mind and our heart anchored and stuff. That is very inferior, very yeah. low ranked of what God is calling us to. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that that leads to uh leads to us being numbed in an area of or more like deadened almost of mm. the capacity God created in us. Mm. The capacity God created in us is to live in a seamless connection, like I said. With yes, him. yes. Um yeah, so like a practical thing is how many times like I'm gonna ask you now, so how many times have you been like anxious about a test or anxious about what's coming up this week or or like just stressed about something and that that thing keeps on rolling in your head over and over and over. Yeah. A lot. Like if your answer is a lot or just even many once. times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Many exactly. Times. So yeah. That 
that means like we know how to meditate we yes th- that's that's the meaning of meditation mm. the, all the only thing that has to change is the subject we need to change our focus mm, in, a, in a different way and that Man. and that is and that is a sense of being aware of the spirit being aware of the Jeez. presence of god just mm. to change that subject i'm not saying you have to be it says don't be anxious about anything but forget about the anxiousness and focus on to focus your your gaze is onto the Lord. It says, Man, look yeah. onto Jesus. Yeah. In Hebrews um, 12. It says, mm. look onto him. Mm. It doesn't say, look for Jesus. It says, look mm. onto him because he's there. Yes. He's not out of, out of reach. Oh, he's not sitting on his eyes throne. Yeah. And, and just saying, go on with your life and one mm. day you'll come to me. Yeah. He says, look onto me because yeah. I'm with you. I'm mm. God Emmanuel. I'm constantly Man. with you. Oh, um, praise Lord. Yeah, so, I do really encourage like most of the people watching this to next time, really when you walk into a building, this is a very, very practical thing. When you walk into a building, when you walk into a class next time, when you walk into a restaurant, mm-hmm. um, just like take a pause mm-hmm. and become just aware of the spirit. Yes. And you'll literally, you'll literally see um, like how, how the atmosphere changed because what you're con- um, what you're conscious, like what you're conscious of, like what you aware of or listen mm. to the presence well, that's why you, most Lord. of us really like really sense the pressure when you walk into a room you, mm. you sense the anxiousness when you walk into yeah. when you walk into a, a study or a test room you like you pick up the anxiousness yeah because those people are, are constantly aware of the test of the anxiousness mm. they they're thinking about so that releases mm. the presence mm. so and that must be the exact same for us when we are aware of the of the spirit of god the the, the constant awareness of him mm. that's also going to release into the presence yes that's going to release a, a sense of joy mm. a sense of peace mm. into the presence and yeah. we need to realize the power of that mm. god is calling us to a deeper thing of of, mm. of not just being aware of the of the minimum of what he has for us but being aware of what he has for us the exactly. god that made us he oh, has so Jesus. much for us and calling us to a deeper connection with mm. Um, and yeah, cool thing I wrote down also is a strong connection between what you're aware of mm. and what you produce. Oh, so, nice. so when you when you're aware of something for let me say uh, again, um, anxiousness about a test. Mm. If you're aware of that, you're gonna you're gonna produce anxiousness. You're gonna produce like so stress of yeah. for the test for the yeah. test. Mm. But when you become, but when you become aware of the presence of god mm. and the joy or the gentleness even of the spirit mm. that will lead to you producing calmness peacefulness mm. in the test time because there's a strong connection between what you are aware of and what mm. you produce mm. and there's so much power in that yeah um the yeah. second thing i wrote down is is mm. yeah i'll go for just and say yeah <laughs> I'm just, yeah, yeah, while, yeah. while you're talking, I'm just reminded of the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego when they refused mm. to bow down to King Nebuchadnezzar's uh, statue. And uh, yeah. I always try and put myself in their shoes. Like, I would have been like, excuse me, you want to throw, no, 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 God, you have to work out something here because I'm not ready to burn, right? Yeah. But, <laughs> but like, what they were so aware of the presence of God in their lives before they were thrown into yeah. a situation. And because they were aware of the spirit that was within them, other people noticed because it says, King Nebuchadnezzar uh, asked his uh, the people standing next to him, wait, didn't we throw three people in the fire? And they were like, yeah, we threw three people in the yeah. fire. And they were like, but why do I see four? And the fourth one yeah. looks like the son of man. And I'm like, people... Yeah will know that okay this person is not just aware of something he's aware of god because it will show because of the connection that you once mentioned that y'all have exactly so oh, exactly. gosh god is good yeah hey man i'm with you. that i'm yeah. with that because I, I really that that's really uh, that's that's calling you becoming aware of that is god calling us to a deeper connection mm. really of becoming mm. aware of your spirit because in this time with all the stuff that's going around on, in yeah. the world and all yeah. the stuff that's happening, we really need to we need to come to a place. God is calling us to His sanctuary again, calling us back to His, back to the simple gospel, to the yes. basic, basic, simple gospel, to be yes. aware of that, and mm. not 
not go on and try figure out and get revelations of the Bible and when God's coming and when Jesus is coming. Really, just He's calling us to put our focus yeah. on. Yeah, yeah, and it goes gospel. it goes back to um, uh, what you were saying about the the Proverbs three, if I'm not mistaken. Um, mm. trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding. So now, what we like to do is we like to skip yes. that part and just read, and the Lord will direct direct that path. But like we're missing out yeah. on the trusting and on the leaning. Why? Yes. Because we're trying to lean yes. on certain things. We're trying to lean on, okay, this is a prophet. So I'm going to lean on him because he has direct access to the Lord as if I don't have direct access yes. as his child. So yeah, that's, oh, yes. that's, that's so amazing, man. Oh gosh. That's, that's so, that's so true. That actually leads to my next point. <laughs> yeah. Um, my second point is he is a he is living water. He's living mm. water. He, that means he is constant. The spirit mm, is constant. Mm. Um and he's not dry one day and then full stream, full flow the next Come day. On, he's yes. Constantly Constant. flowing. Mm. And and it's not just the the priests of the people that can step into that river and, and the disciples that can step into that river. We are all called to jump into the river Amen. to step into that Come constant on. flow of what he has for us mm, mm. um and we have we have three decisions we have three decisions to make yeah you can stand outside the river that's mm -hmm. all good you can really you go stand outside the river you can see how god moves in your life yeah you can see what it does for you yeah the second thing is you can you can put your feet in it you can just taste a bit and see mm. a bit that's, the, that's more like people going to church on Sundays and small group <laughs> on Wednesdays. Yeah, yeah. That, that's all they do. They just test the bit of God's presence. Mm -mm. Then there's the third one. Yeah. And that's fully submerging yourself and Come jumping on. in the river. Yeah. And and not not worrying about where the river goes, but mm. like you said, trusting and leading, not on your own understanding, but yeah. trusting on an understanding of where the river goes because mm. it's controlled by the Father. Oh, like thank that you, is, Jesus. That is what we are called to. We are called to jump into that river and mm. to not lean on understanding, to trust in him always. Mm. Mm. And the cool thing is it, it blows my mind. It's just really it's difficult to explain it. But we are we are all created to do that. Mm. It says we are we are created in his image. We we didn't we didn't make God. We mm. didn't design God. Yeah. He was, he's the beginning and the end. Mm. He is the author and finisher of our faith in the responses okay so we didn't create god he mm. created us mm. and if we created in his image mm. we are made to live in a seamless connection with him mm. we are made to be constantly aware of the spirit oh, Jesus. we yes. are created to jump into the river mm. it's not difficult for us mm. we are created to do that mm. it, it's a it's a sense of acknowledgement first and then changing your focus to an open heaven. Mm, we, it's mm. not, God, please open the heavens and the spirit come upon us. Mm. It's, God, the heaven is open, so let the spirit come upon us. Mm, come. Mm, the spirit come upon Mary and reveal mm. God. The spirit comes upon the word, reveals God. The spirit comes upon Stacy, mm. upon Ludwig, the people watching, and reveals God. Come it's on, an open man. heaven. It's not, yeah. God, open the heavens. It's, God, the heaven is open. So Jesus. let the spirit come upon us. Oh, thank you. Because Lord. what Jesus did on us for the cross on the cross, mm. he created a new covenant between all of us. Yeah. Between us and the Father. Mm. That's what Jesus did for us. Mm. That means anything that's, that was everything was broken from the sacrifices, from the holy temple where mm. you must go to meet God. Everything yeah. was broken away. Mm. Jesus gave us the spirit. And oh, that that means we can connect with God. The spirit Prayer is a sense of communication. Mm. Becoming aware is a sense of communication. Yeah. And I'm not, uh, the thing is, like I said, for the for the restaurant thing, when you walk into a restaurant, you don't have to pray, God, let me become aware of you. Mm. It's just becoming aware. You don't have to pray. You can mm. just stand still and think, wow, mm. the presence of Christ is, is re I'm really aware of it. And mm. then you see it like flowing out into the presence, into mm. where you are standing, in into the area we're in. Um, mm. And that's everything was done by the cross. Like mm. that, that was be our main focus. Also, yeah, we didn't do it. We didn't become aware of the spirit. Mm. Jesus died for us. Simple, mm. simple gospel. Mm. He died for us on the cross. Made a new yeah. covenant between us and the Father. Yeah, and we can step into that. You can decide. Like I said, 
you could live outside of it. You will probably also go to heaven. I, mm. I do really believe you can stand outside the river and mm. see how God moves in your life. Mm. Or you can taste mm. or you can step into a co-laboring position with mm. God. Mm. He's calling us to a co-laboring position mm. and seeing where it takes us, opening mm. our eyes to see where it takes us. Mm. Yeah. And we need to sense, I, I believe God is calling us in this time to really be aware of mm. the power of that. To yeah. be aware of the power and the presence of, mm. of God. Mm. Like there's power in scripture, yes. There's power in prophecy. There's power in, in tongues and all those gifts we have. But there's a massive, massive power between this relationship mm. with Come God. On. Yeah. And being awareness of him. Yeah. I, 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 was, I was recently at summer camp for Amplified Jews. Mm. Um, yo, the Lord really, really moved there. And mm. um, so we really spoke, we really spoke about raising leaders and sending them out to the nations. That was like we we really teached and we gave sermons on that. Mm. Um, but I I strongly believe that everything must start first between me and the father Come before on. we can go you to see? the nations. Yo. We need to fix this before we can fix this. Mm. That needs to be that needs mm. to be fixed first. Mm. And the first thing you can check, the first thing you can check is how's your quiet time? Mm. Um, are you connecting with God? Mm. The second thing is like is is your quiet time really intimate or mm. is it just uh let me pick up my Bible and just read for a couple of minutes? I I really stand up in the mornings and I want to encounter God. I don't mm. walk out of my room before I've encountered the Lord. Come Lord. on, man. Oh. Not not because I'm like, God, you must encounter me this morning. <laughs> because I know mm. I know that I've encountered God because He's calling us to encounter him every single day. Yeah. Is yeah, like I said, we are created to do it. Yeah, we're creating this image to do You it. know, from the three things that you told us, like okay, you can stand outside and you can see what God can be doing in your life. That's a very dangerous place to be in. And also yeah. dipping in your feet is also quite dangerous. I mean, like it's not like you won't know that God is powerful. You will know, but like you have the room to look at what God is doing for other people, which will automatically kind of make you look warm. Because you're like, okay, God, this feels nice, but I want to be like that. And then you'll end up chasing the wrong things yeah. and not and leaving the, the connection mm -hmm. that you're supposed to have with him first before you go to other people, yes. you know? And the another yes. thing is about the being aware of the spirit reminds me of when um, the disciples were in the upper room and Jesus said, wait here for the Holy Spirit. You know, it's so important to make sure that we are aware of the spirit and we have him before God sends us into anything. You understand? Before God sends us to mm -hmm. preach, before God sends us to do his work, we have to wait for the Holy Amen. Spirit. And like, you know, that process is also kind of mm -hmm. funny because it says that the people that could hear them when the spirit um descended upon them and they started speaking in different tongues, the people outside thought they mm -hmm. were drunk. So don't be surprised if you lose friends because it will happen, you know, in that process, <laughs> it yeah. will happen. You will lose friends. <laughs> you will be like, okay, what is going on? Because we have this thing. Okay. I've accepted the Lord Jesus as my savior. Oh, I'm walking in the spirit. Oh, it's nice. Everything's going to be smooth. Oh, and God, then God. your best buddy is going to be like, bye, I'm out. And you're like, wait, what yeah. is happening? You know? So, it, it, it does happen that, but I feel like sometimes it's also part of a pruning process that God wants to take us through to remove every yeah. hindrance so yes. that we can be fully yes. aware without any distractions. Again, fix your gaze, yes. not look, fix your gaze, you know? Yeah. So, oh, wow, so, that, so amazing. That is amazing. And the, the, it, it blows my mind that, that we are all created to do like that. We and mm. we are all created to really to really live that life. Mm. Um like I was in I was in Canal Walk the other day and and there was a lot of people like thousands. Yeah. And I just I I stood there and I'm I'm not teaching this because um because I don't do it. I strongly yeah. believe in this. This mm -hmm. I do this every single day. Mm. I become the way of the spirit constantly mm. like that's that's my lifestyle yeah it's a, it's a thing i've practiced for mm. almost a year now mm. i've become aware of the spirit 
Yeah. So I, I stood in Canal Walk and I was like, it's a, it's a shopping center mm, uh, mm, mm. in Cape Town. And I stood there and I just, I just became aware of the presence of God. And I was like, I saw all these people and, I, and God told me, you know, I created all of them to hear from me. Oh. I created all of, all of those thousands of thousands of thousands of people. Mm. And I created them to hear from me. But he is he is literally crying. I want to start crying now. He's literally mm. crying because we are running away from him. Mm. He's not running away from us. He mm. didn't do anything to us. He did it for us. He did it on the cross for us. He mm. he's calling us. He's calling his family back to just a simple, simple gospel. Just to come feast with the Father. Mm. Not to come, Ludwig, go go to the nations. Ludwig, go do this. Ludwig, mm. I'm calling. It says, come feast. I'm calling you back. Come sit with me. Come, let me let me heal you first. Let me heal this first. Mm. And then go do the stuff. Yeah. Then go to the nation and preach the gospel and mm. baptize the people in the name of the Father and the Son. Mm. Mm. Fix no. this first and then go to the nation. Yeah. And yeah. It, it, it really, uh, my heart broke. And it's, and it's not their fault. It's not the people's fault that mm. that, that they are running away. They are standing outside of the river. And what mm. that does it mean? The devil can catch you outside of the river. He can't catch Definitely. you outside of the river. No, 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 no. He can't. He can catch you outside of the yeah. river. He can, he can yeah. lead you away from the river. Mm. He, he can, can manipulate you big time. Yeah. He can, yeah. Because you're outside of the river. You're not in the place of sanctuary. You're not mm -mm. in the river. Yeah. You're outside of it. Yeah. You don't Same have full protection. The, the taste and see. Yeah. You don't have foundation. Mm. You don't have it. Because mm. you're standing outside of the river. Like mm. I said, you'll probably still be saved because you see how God moves. You still believe in the Father. Mm. I, I do believe that. That's mm. good. I'm I'm so happy. But God's calling you for a deeper place. Deeper. That's the, that's the other story. But mm. but the thing is, if you stand outside of the, outside the river, mm. yes, you see how God works. But you can also be misled, manipulated to different stuff very yeah. easily because mm. you're not a, you're not aware and you're not like fully seeing what God can do because you're outside the river. Mm, mm. same thing with stepping just your foot into it mm. you're just tasting and seeing mm. of the but the presence of god also mm. still you will be saved because mm. you're 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 seeing and believing the, the the works of god but you can still also be misled it might be a bit more difficult for the devil because you're because you're a bit in the river mm. but you can still be misled yeah. i believe if you jump in that river and mm. we are all all called to it yeah jump into that river mm. and then you can't be misled mm. because your eyes are looking onto Thank the King of Jesus. Kings, the Lord of Lords. You are protected, like you said. Mm. Yes, there's times in your life where you you will maybe go to the bank because mm. you are being misled. Mm. But God just pulls you back with his gentleness yes. and his love to the middle of yes. the river and just you keep on flowing. Mm. It Thank says, Re resist the devil and he will flee from you. Come on. Come on. Resist them and he'll flee from you. It's mm. not resist the devil and he will come the next day. He will yeah. completely flee from you. Flee. He will go away. Mm. So and and that's only uh, how do you resist the devil is by looking onto Jesus. Yes. It's, yes. That's the constant thing that needs to happen. Yes. And my 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 word for for twenty twenty three is being godly expectant, mm. but also revealing the Father, mm. firstly through relationship with mm. Him, mm. and by example to others sure that i put relationship first because this needs to be correct before that thank can be you correct. yeah exactly and i and i need to become aware of mm. the presence of god i need to be aware of my relationship with god mm. because i acknowledge that without him i have a massive void in my life i'm going to fall back to depression because i i, I shared my testimony on this thing yeah yeah all the stuff all the stuff i was mm. in mm. I'm going to fall into it if I just leave God and just walk mm. away. Exactly. So I acknowledge, mm. I acknowledge the importance and the quality of God's presence. Mm. Hey, that's the, that's the definition of acknowledgement mm. and acknowledgement leads to awareness. Yeah. So that leads me to a place of constantly being aware of the presence of God, because if I'm not aware of the presence of God, I will be misled to stuff. I'll be manipulated, but no, we are created to be like that. So God is calling us to live in that constant awareness of Him. Mm. And I promise you, I promise you, 
you will really see how your life changes. You will see stuff. You'll pick up stuff in, in yeah. the spirit. Your yeah. perspective will change. Yeah. You will see stuff in a godly perspective, in a holy mm. perspective. Mm. And how amazing is that, that we as human beings can experience that. We can mm. experience seeing stuff in a different way, in a godly yeah. way. Yeah. And, and I always notice that... Every th- yeah, whenever I am, like, really, really aware of the spirit, like, I can step into, like, uh, uh, not a friend group, but, like, a group of, like, people who are around my age, and I could just hear their conversations, but the, the spirit would allow me to hear what is actually being said, like, not what I'm hearing, but, like, yeah. what they mean, like, so I would be like, oh, this isn't yeah. right, and I'll be convicted of certain things. Mm. Like, I'll be like, then the Holy Spirit will be like, says you can't yeah. be around these people. Because um, if you're around these people, you're moving farther and farther away from me by just being there and not saying anything when they say anything that is ungodly. You understand? So I yes. think uh, oh, yeah. being aware of the Spirit is indeed, like what you said, uh, something that God takes you through and trains you, as you were saying, you train yourself to be aware of the spirit. Yeah. And uh, I think we need to uh, really get to do that and always stay in the river. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we stay in the river. And yeah. I want to finish off by by looking on the Jesus. When I was praying for this for this this morning, mm-hmm. re- God really took took me to a place of of who Jesus is. Wow. Who who is Jesus? Mm-hmm. Um. And Jesus lived a perfect life. Yeah. He lived a he lived by example mm. because he was first aware of the spirit and mm. then went to go speak to his disciples. Yeah. He first prayed and listened to what's what is on God's heart and yes. then went to the people and spoke to them. Mm. He didn't go to the people and speak to them yeah. and then went to God and asked, Was that said, fine with you? And that's what we do. He was, <laughs> That's what we do. Yes, that's, <laughs> we do. that's what we do. We yeah. fail. We mm. fail to acknowledge him first. We fail to be aware of him. First. Oh, help us, Lord. So oh. we. So we. Amen. We help mm. us, Lord. That's the thing. We need to pray. Not yeah. Lord. Let us become aware of the Spirit. Yeah. Lord, how did Jesus do it? How did Je- How did Jesus live a perfect life? Mm-hmm. Of constantly being aware of the spirit, yeah. close to his heartbeat, yeah, and then when to go speak to the people, that should be your prayer. Not yep. let us become aware of the spirit. That's that's also good. I I I, I believe that's good. But if if we if we if we need to start training ourselves yeah. to be like that, we need mm. to ask who did it. Who who's the only person in the Bible who did it, and did it correctly. Thank you. Woo! And did it Jesus. correctly, Jesus. Wow. That's mm, all. No mm. one else. And that's where we're going to learn to be yeah. with the Spirit. Yeah. Oh. That, because he did it. He lived the perfect life. Mm. He, he lived by example yeah. because he was with the Spirit. Mm, mm, so mm. I really, I really pray that mm. all of us will, yeah. will not just lean on our own understanding, mm. but, but lean on the understanding of Jesus, of the Amen. Spirit, of how he did it. Amen. Um, yeah, but thank you so much. It was, it was so fun. I really... When you got when you, when you WhatsApp me, I was like, "Yo, guys, this is gonna be good." Because yeah, I believe yeah. God is calling. I believe God's calling all of us to to live like that. Mm. Not just the believers, all mm. of us to mm. to live in a sense of being aware of the Spirit. Mm. Um, and I, God also pressed them out. I don't know how altar goals are gonna work on this, but if you want to comment on the on the video, that would be mm. so cool. I would yeah. love to pray for you. But the, I I want to just call out to two like groups almost the first one if you if you're outside the river or mm. just stepping foot sometimes in the river if you're a person who goes to church mm. um and you love church and you love the people there yes but throughout the week you struggle to really connect with god mm. um, i would love to pray for you mm. um if you comment on this video that would be so cool mm. um i will connect you like try to connect um privately to you and the second one is um, if you don't know God, like if you if you don't if you if you heard this whole sermon or and you were like yo, but what's he talking about? <laughs> I would love to pray for you because I I believe God is calling us all to that place, not mm. just the the believers of twenty years of four or five years. Unbelievable! So He's calling us all yeah. to a deeper connection with Him. Yeah. Um, sure. Yeah. So I just want to close off by by prayer also, if, mm. if you don't mind. 
Yeah. That'd be so cool. Obviously, yeah. You can yeah. before you uh, close the prayer. Um. Yeah. So as we said, please, if you do feel like you know this word is for you, and you're standing outside the river, or you just got your toes in there, please comment. And we will be having actually another video where um I'll be here, Lou will be here, and a couple more guys. And we'll just be praying for different prayer requests. And these can be one of them. And we'll just okay, pray for good. you. We'll just be praying. Like, okay, this point number one. And we'll have someone lead a prayer and we'll all agree. And that would be really cool. Yeah. And I really can't wait for that, actually. Um, yeah, so, so don't cool. forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I had so much yes. fun. Yeah, and you may close in prayer. Yeah, thank you. Uh, for the... Thank you, yes. God, you are good, Lord, and everything was done on the cross, Father. Let us oh, become Jesus. aware of, of what you did, Lord, yes, and Lord. Um, Jesus, I thank you for, for your love and your gentleness, Lord. I thank you that you are calling us to jump into the river, Father, Lord, and not stand outside, Lord, and Lord, let us become aware of your spirit, mm. Father God, but Jesus, so us, show us how you did it, Lord. Show mm. us how you became of this, um, aware of the spirit. Um, by acknowledgement, Father God, and then you went to go speak to yes, people, Jesus. Father. So oh. open heaven, we pray that, that mm. you will just send your spirit upon us, Lord. Make our hearts Jesus. soft and gentle. Let mm. us come close to your heartbeat, Lord, every single mm. day. Jesus. Give us hunger and thirst to come to you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, amen. Woo! That was... Uh, hey, I just feel like doing a picture dance. Oh, I just feel like I had so much fun. <laughs> I had so much fun. Okay. It is boiling hot, but I'm not feeling the I'm this sweating. heat. I'm feeling this heat. <laughs> God is bad. good. God is good. God is good. And I am so excited for the next meeting. But for now, it is goodbye. So thank you, everybody. See you. Bye. Cheers.